Yes, the sunshine here, and today I'm getting into the new uh, Color Pop Quads and the Act Natural Mascara. So, if you want to see a tutorial with these two uh, palettes for this really easy, wearable look with a little bit of a pop of color, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and let's get into the tutorial. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here again with you on YouTube. I haven't been here in a while with any video. Um, I just have been like, I don't know what it would be called, but like writer's block, like I just wasn't sure what to do. <laughs> um, so if you have any suggestions at all, please comment down below what sort of videos you'd like to see. If there's any specific eyeshadow palette or palettes we've done before, I love to do whatever. Um, but I love eyeshadow. We can do some other wear test. If there's anything, any sort of technique you're interested in, please comment down below, whatever it is, and I will be happy to do some videos because I just have been kind of stuck. So let's go ahead and get into it. And yeah, the first palette I'll be using is Cream Soda, and I'll be using the shade, I believe it's called Milkshake or Soda Shop. I'm never sure when the names are on the back of the palette, but it is is the slightly darker matte and I'll be using the Nabla N207 brush I've already bounced this big fluffy brush into the first quad and I've just bounced it a few times plus a few more times I'm tapping off the excess with the tip of my big fluffy brush I'm moving from the outer corner in circular motions moving inward and I'm going to continue to move a bit inward toward the center now I'm going to just blend in swiper motions outward. So the circular motions at first were inward and now I'm moving in swiper motions outward, mostly on the brow bone to the outer corner. I'm just gonna check in the mirror. Now I'm gonna dip my brush into the pan like five times. Now, just, let's call it eight times. Who knows how many times. I dipped it in there quite a bit. I'm gonna really tap off the excess. Now on the outer corner brow bone, I'm going to start to add a little bit more color. The same color, I didn't switch anything. I just added more to the brush. And then I'm going to kind of bring it down into the outer corner as well. I just really want the shade to be focused in the outer corner, but then also blown out. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. And I'll also be using the Nabla N204 brush. And with it, I'm going to be dipping it a few times. I already dipped it a few times into my same the same shade. And I'm going to tap off the excess. And then I'm going to take this onto the lower lash line. And I'm just blending it all the way across. This is the lighter shade, so I don't mind kind of bringing it all the way in. And I'm just using Swiper Motions. This is a flat, sort of thicker kind of brush, and I'm blending it all the way in and out. And I'll do the same thing to the other side, and then we'll get into the next quad and the next color. The second quad palette I'll be using is Sparkler, and I will be using the deeper brown shade from this palette, and it could be Seltzer or Coca-Cola or Coca-Cola. For the next shade, I'll be using two brushes. First, the Nabla N205 brush, and then the Nabla N306 brush to blend out. Now it's time to get into our next quad, and this is the shade Sparkler. I really like these a lot. They're really, really cute. And I just used the Huda Beauty Brown palettes. Um, and I've used, I think, almost every single one of these except for maybe one, the, um, the Sorbet. I don't think I've used the Sorbet. I think I've used every single one. Yeah, I think so. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna get into the Sparkler, and they're all, they're all like, they're very similar. So I'm going to dip this into this deeper color. And now I'm tapping off the excess. And then from the outer corner, like lash line, I'm blending out a little bit. And then I'm going to tap, 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 tap back into the pan, the same thing. And then I'm going to tap this in the outer corner. And now I'm blending in kind of ovular, circular motions, not super round, just a little bit longer, like an oval. And I'm going to blend it into the crease. I went from the base of the lash line outer corner in these long, kind of swiper, sort of ovular <laughs> motion. And then I'm moving it up into the crease just to create some 
definition. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend a little bit more. And I'm gonna take the other brush, the more fluffy brush of the two. I'm using the tip of this brush in larger circular motion to blend everything together in this outer corner. And then I'm just gonna kind of flick it up a little bit. And then I have this really pretty depth and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. It's time for shimmer shimmer time and I'll be using again the sparkler palette and I'll be using both sweet on and extra bubbly and I'm going to take my handy dandy ring finger. The ring finger, I've said this a few times in a couple of tutorials, is the weakest finger because it's connected to both the pinky and the middle finger so it's going to be the most gentle on the eyelid and what I'm going to do is swirl it into the lighter shimmer shade. I've tapped off my finger just in case and now I'm going to tap this onto the lid. From the center I'm tapping, from the base of the lashes, and then I'm tapping out. I'm going to use my pinky just to blend the edges very, very softly, very gently. The shimmers in these quads are really, really pretty. I believe we all love shimmer shimmer time on this channel, and the shimmers in these quads are just really, really spectacular. I really, really like them a lot. Okay, next shimmer I'm going to just kind of um, run my finger back and forth, cradle it, I guess, into the deeper brown shimmer. I do tap off my finger, like, onto my mirror for the extra little, like, pieces of shimmer on the edges. And then I'm going to take this into the outer mid area. And then I'll take my pinky to gently blend around. And then what I'll do from there is take my fluffy brush, the last blending brush. I use the N306 brush. And I'm going to take this into the deep shade, just roll it gently, tap off the excess, and then I'm going to blend it forward, and I'm using the edge of the brush, the edge of the blending brush, just like how I rolled it into the pan, I'm just using the edge to um, blend forward, and then I'm going to, what am I going to do now? I don't think I'm going to be adding much to the lower Ah, yeah, I am. So now I'm going to take the same color and the brush I used before, the N204 brush. It's this like sort of flat, thick brush and taking the tip of it into the deeper matte shade. I'm now swiping on the outer corner toward the mid of the eye. So from the outer edge toward the mid, not all the way. So just bringing in and connecting everything a little bit further. What am I going to do now? Oh, <laughs> so I have three different things here in my hand. I'm going to do a few things now um, to enhance this look, and then I'm going to get my mascara on and clip some lashes from Salon Perfect and just use the edges to enhance the look or just leave it at mascara. I'm not sure yet. I'll see once I'm done. But let's go ahead and get into these three things. So I'm going to first go with the shadow stick. So this is the Brilliant Eye Brightener from Thrive Cosmetics. You may have seen me use this on Pinterest or other places. Um, and I think I used one of their pink shades. I can't remember the name. But I'm going to use the shade Australia. This is so pretty. I'm going to use this right into the inner corner. It's perfect for brightening. I really like this bright white shade. And I'm just going to bring it in my inner corner to connect everything. I'm not bringing it on the lower lash line, just on the top inner corner. So it's brightened up everything. And that's all I'm going to use it for today. I just really want a super bright inner corner. And now I'll get to the liner. I'm going to use the Akai liner in the shade brown. And what I'll do with this is... I'm just going to go ahead and define my lash line from the center and then I'm going to kind of thicken it up. I'm going to connect everything. I'm just going to look a little closer and I'm going to extend this wing so I have a little bit of a flare. And that will help if I do decide to add some falsies. I do like to uh, place them just slightly above the actual, like, lash line so that it, everything's a little bit lifted. Now both wings are on. I'm taking the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Prance. And this, I think, is a little dry sometimes when I'm doing eye looks at the end. 
I don't clean up or put away anything. And I leave these open. And then they dry out. And it makes me really sad. But I, I've been trying to be much, much better about putting the cat back on. Um, so anyway, I have to look a little bit closer. Okay, so I'm going to take this blue. I've been loving to add a pop of color into the inner corner. And since I'm wearing a top with white and blue, I love this blue shade. Yeah, it broke because <laughs> it's super dry. I'm going to just take this into the inner corner. And then as I go in toward the center, I'm going to just lighten up a little bit. I need lashes for this look. So I don't know if we're going to necessarily have a makeup miracle moment today. Um, so I'm taking the new ColourPop Mascara Action Natural Defining Mascara in the shade Black. I've used this already and I really, really, really liked it a lot. I was very pleasantly surprised. So we'll see if that happens again today. Um, I used it to create a few looks. I used the black one twice and then the brown one. I'm gonna roll this from the base of the lashes and just roll it up through my lashes. I've curled my lashes like multiple times. Anytime, any anytime I'm gonna wear mascara, just mascara or mascara and a little falsy on the edge. I like to make sure that I do curl my lashes quite a bit with the, so you can see on one side and then the other side. It's already weighing my lashes down. I don't know, I didn't notice it weighing the lashes the first time I used it. Maybe I curled it again. That happens with like every mascara unless it's waterproof. My lashes start to droop. So if you have that problem, then I'm right there with you. <laughs> if you have curly lashes, good for you. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead now and add this to the other side. I decided I do want to add a bit of a whoosh at the end with the Salon Perfect 690 style lash. So I'm going to go ahead and pop those on. I'm also going to have... So it will be, there will be a Makeup Miracle moment and also a pop on my lip today and I'll tell you what it is after. So we'll finish up this tutorial and yes, voila, a Makeup Miracle moment has occurred. So I have my lashes and my lip on and the look is complete. So for lips today, I use the uh, Kylie Cosmetics. This is the you glow girl lip liner and this is the Los Angel high gloss which I've been obsessed with lately to top off of anything so that's the combination and I also added a little bit of my NARS soft matte concealer just to the center to brighten up everything and that completes this tutorial I hope you enjoyed if you did make sure to like it subscribe to my channel check me out on Instagram and TikTok at Nessa Sunshine and also let me just talk about these palettes really really quickly just to wrap up this tutorial I love these palettes I love the concept they're really like cute and convenient I love the packaging I love that there are two shimmers and there are two mattes and I love ColourPop shimmers. I like these particular shimmers a lot and a lot of them I feel like you can find in other palettes or something very similar if you have like Sweet Talk or you have, um, if you might have some of their fall palettes that have some of the redder shades um, like for this. I love this palette. It's really, really pretty. Um, the Mocktail palette or like the Co Going Coconuts or any of their neutral shades. Like the Sweet Talk palette, like this is very similar. Creamsicle is similar to Sweet Talk and some other palettes and uh, Citrus Fizz is close to going coconuts. But if you've hit pan on some of your shadows and you really love ColourPop, um, I mean, th these are wonderful. So if you're also a neutral lover like I am, this might be something that's great, like to get a little um, quad to have in case you need some specific neutral shades, which are, are these, and they're all really great. The formula is great, so. That is it for today, and I will see you later. Thank you so much. It's been great to be with you again. So yeah, bye. Bye now. Mm -hmm.